Hi, this video is, shows the steps to create an intake form in Acuity and how to link that intake form to your appointment types. So you go into business settings, intake form questions. So here is where you create a new intake form. So I'm going to create a new form here. And I'm going to call this um, additional health questions, for example. So this, um, we can put a description, gathers additional information from contacts prior to appointment. So now the only thing we have here is the form name and a description, but we don't, it's not really collecting any information right now. So here is where you can decide what type of information you want to, you want to get from your contacts and they can be in a text format where they type, or it can be multiple lines of text, or it can be a drop down list. And you drag these types of questions to your form. So I'm going to put one here, for example. Here is, um, yeah, let's say, how old are you? And this is a required field. And it's a single line of text. And this has been added to the form. Now the form has this question. And here you can delete or add it. If you want to change what is whatever you're asking here, you can click on add it. Now we can add a drop down, for example. And here we can see, we can ask um, how many times a week do you exercise? And we can say once a week, two times a week, a week every other week. Let's say those are the options. And now here you have your drop down with those options. And here it doesn't show like yeah. So once a week, two times a week, every other week. Again, you can edit this here. When I click on edit, it goes back and here is where I can uh, type additional options. If I click on required, then it's going to show that little red dot on top of it, making sure. And it's not going to allow your customers to complete the appointment unless they answer all the questions that are marked as required. And I saved. And now my form has two questions. I can add one more box here to see do you smoke? Um, and uh, actually, that does not have to be required. I'm going to uncheck this as required because people might not smoke. Or now my form has three questions. OK, so now that I added the questions to the form, I need to say um, which appointment types are going to be using this form. And here I have a list of all the appointment types. Or you could even say that this is for internal use and it's not going to be displayed to your clients. I'm going to say here that it, this is going to be on my Acne PO appointment. Okay. 
and now I'm going to save the form. And now if I go to appointment types, go to this acne peel, click on the scheduling link here, and try to schedule an appointment. Here are my additional health questions. Okay, I also have this address form that is also connected in this NAC referral. So these are all different forms that I have attached to this appointment type. I'm going to go back and just change the configuration just so it's not confusing. And now I'm going to say, now uh, I am in the appointment type settings now, and here it shows all the different forms that are attached to this appointment. So I'm going to change the configuration and say that I only want this form additional health questions, which is the one we just created. So now if we go back here, well, first I want to update it with the changes. And now if we go back, click on direct, direct scheduling link, click here. So I'm back to my scheduling page, 30th, 11 a.m., continue, and now it only shows my questions here, okay? I'm 40, I exercise two times a week, and I don't smoke. I'm going to complete the appointment now. That's it. This is Maria Clara. If we go back into Acuity and I look for this client, in my client list, So this is the responses to additional health questions that I just provided. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.